We're going to play more Halls of Torment today. It's going to be a very short stream. I have to prepare. A stir is coming to Vegas. So I'm going to spend some time. It could be really interesting. It's been a while since me and Stir have spent some time hanging out. I also plan on opening some crates in Team Fortress today. I have a whole backpack full of keys and shit. And I'm just like, do I, how do I, what do I even do about this? So you're going to get a Halls of Torment, one or two Halls of Torment runs, and then a TF2 box opening stream. Welcome, welcome to the new Jerma. Oh boy, he's going to just open crates for an hour and leave? Oh, uh oh, oh. Oh, this is, this is the end. This is the, we're at the end then. Nah, nah, it's uh, I just, I have a lot of cases that are, they're old. I've got like winter, like 2000, like 20, like 2019, I think crates. I don't even know what's in them. I've got, I don't know. I, I, I got 25 keys. Winter cases, Omega lull. Don't open, should I, are they bad? Did I, should I not have, have gotten the, the winter cases? Well, I didn't get any. I just have had them for like half a decade. The winter cases are dog shit? What? That's like half the inventory, I think. Is that how? I think that might be... Oh, well, you could... Okay, well, you're not even going to want to watch that part. The most expensive item you can get is five cents. What, on the marketplace? Oh, whatever. I ha Guys, I haven't opened a TF2 box. As of, like, the last seven days, it's been almost... It's been, like seven or eight years. It's been a very long time. All right, yeah, no, no, okay, stop stalling. No more, st hey guys, I'm, I'm gonna be here for like two, three hours, so no stalling, no stalling. All right, so we left off Halls of Torment a few days ago. It's it's kind of funny, because I've, I know, go, go, dude, go, you only got two hours, go. But let me tell you a story. Start talking about Diablo 4. <laughs> I should give you guys my takes more often, because I, I saw a few comments of people saying like, oh man, like this is like one of the only things he's ever said that I like agree with. Should I give you my takes more often, instead of just, Okay, the only takes you guys get from me are, like, dog food flavors. And, it's, and I'm just, like, fucking around, right? But, like, you never get, like, a real take from me, so you can never get my real opinions on anything. So all, the only opinions you get from me are dog food. So that's why all of you think I'm, I, I'm like, a psycho. Because I never give you a real take. And the comedy takes I give are about eating dog food, so I get it. I completely understand that now. You need to go on a rant. <laughs> Dude, hey, go on a rant. No, you don't want a rant. Like, you don't want a bunch of takes from me. I, trust me. Three of you are going to go based. And 10,000 of you are going to go, what is you? Sh what? Shut up. You have an NA education. Yes, I do. You want to deny that? No, I don't. Shut up, idiot. No, I don't. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I, 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 I have a, a North American education. Does that make you angry with me? It's so fucked up that it's August of 2023. Why is it? Uh, what happened to 2020? Well, I think I can explain what you're feeling. Uh, COVID deleted two years. COVID essentially just absolutely liquidated two full years. But if, if that's why it feels like 2021, because 2020 and 2021 and some of 2022 barely even happened. We time traveled from 2020 to 2023 in a lot of ways. We should make a petition to petition to go, revert back to 2021. That's kind of interesting. That's weird. Ladies and gentlemen, we have decided in Congress we are going to be introducing the Rewind Time Act. Uh, myself and Senator Stevenson over there thought it was a good idea to rewind time back to 2021 because uh, COVID fucked up everything for two years. We made up time anyways. Isn't there like a wild theory that we're in the wrong year? I heard that somewhere. That it's actually like, it's not 2000, it's not like 2000. We're living in like the, like the 1400s or something, right? Isn't that what I heard? Isn't that what you heard? I heard that. Did you hear that? Bro, you talked about this already. No, I didn't. I heard that we very we could be like way further in the future or way earlier. I probably heard this theory on a fucking YouTube short that I scrolled by. <laughs> Dude, every time I open up YouTube shorts, I just got to tell you, I I think I'm getting older. I'm getting a lot older. And I, I can definitely feel myself growing up, but I scroll through YouTube shorts and I just go, what is going on? What is happening? I'm like, I'm, am I older? I'm too old now. I'm I'm too old for this. What's happening? That's a cool theory. <laughs> I will scroll through YouTube shorts and I just kind of, I, after like 10, I just stop. And then I go back up three because I go, there's no fucking way. That's what I just watched like a minute and a half ago, is it? And I give that person like five more views in a row. You know what I mean? It's just like, no, there's no way that what I just watched was what I just watched. Oh, it was. Was it? If you don't understand Skibidi Toilet, you're fine. I've seen it. I've seen it. I watched it. 
I don't think I saw the whole thing. That's the one where the people with the cameras for faces are like punching the people with the toilets, right? And it's, they're like in a gigantic, there's like a big fight. Who told him? What do you mean who told him? I saw it. Zoomer, humor, enjoyer, Andy. I've made this statement before and it, it's very, very real. Zoomer humor is very, it's over very quickly. I brought up this very important point. When you talk about Zoomer humor, I can decide if I liked something in literally eight seconds. Boomer humor, I might have to sit there for 30 minutes while they explain like a whole thing and then tell it to me, like at the end of that. So it's like, the, the one good thing for me about Zoomer humor is it's either good or it's not very quickly. But I, I do love that Boomer humor style where you kind of, have to tell a whole elaborate story for one thing that might be kind of funny in the middle. I, I, I very much enjoy the boomer humor style, but zoomer humor is quick. It's to the point and it gets going very quickly. There's no setup. Yeah, I, I like a big setup. I think that's pretty obvious if any of you have been here for long enough. Honestly, the setup to me is a lot of times more fun than actually telling the joke. It's sometimes way more fun. You don't like to do Airbus, do you prefer the 7, uh, 40, the 787? I don't prefer any, I don't, I don't, sure. <laughs> I don't have like an airplane preference. Do you have a private jet? I feel like if I flew in a private jet one time, it would be over. I would like probably wipe out my entire bank account, everything. I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, I hate flying. I don't like airplanes. I'm not afraid of flying. It's just the whole travel experience to me. It's like the having to go through into the terminal and go through the security area and wait for everybody to get on the plane and get on the plane and then sit there and then it takes, it takes like three hours to get on an airplane sometimes. I hate it. I don't hate being in the air. I just, I just don't like the whole prospect of the amount of time and how annoying it is to actually get into the plane in the first place. But is that worth like 9,000 extra dollars because even a first class ticket on some of these airlines, that's already a, a huge premium on that seat. I don't think I would want to pay like a, a thousand percent premium to get on like a pri- I, I don't know. No, you could afford it. I think a lot of you guys may be overestimating my finances a little. Dude, bro, yeah, you could do it, dude. Just take a private plane everywhere you fucking go. It's only like 20 grand a flight. You, you, get, you got the money, you'll be fine. It's like, <laughs> I think you guys may be overestimating uh, my financial ability to fly on a private plane all the time. You rented a baseball field. Yeah, that was for, that was for a stream that a lot of time and a lot of energy went into. It, me renting a baseball field out versus getting on a private plane? That's, those are two very different things. Th those are not even close. Do a private jet stream. No, that whole stream is what, just me flying on an airplane and reading a newspaper and grabbing the the sprite out of the flight attendant's hand, just being like, thank you, thank you. That's it, that's that's the whole, that's all the content. And then maybe like an hour goes by and I'm like, excuse me, excuse me, uh, do you guys have headphones? Didn't bring your own headphones. Headphones is always, I just, I don't really do. Okay. A lot of you here, headphones might be an, a very important accessory you take everywhere. I do not. Headphones to me are something that has to be packed. I never carry them. They're never on me. It's never some. I don't really. Oh, I've got my uh, earbuds in or whatever. N not really. So headphones to me are not a, a, an object I carry on me frequently. Do you just sit and stare at a wall during a plane ride? I mean, it, n no. I'll I'll do stuff on like tablets and stuff. Or sometimes you know you get a TV in front of you. Sometimes that's that's fun. I'll load up. Um, you know it's great on an airplane. It doesn't matter how many times you've seen it. Is it, what, here's the strat. You ready for the, are you ready for the strategy? If your plane ride is more than three hours long, or about two to three hours long, go play the Curb Your Enthusiasm Roulette. Uh, you go pick three random Curb, or four random Curb Your Enthusiasm episodes. Doesn't matter what they are, just pick them out randomly. Uh, cause even if you've seen it already, it's still gonna be good. Um, that's the strategy for every air, airplane. That's a boomer show. I want that person actually timed out. That, that, that was, you, what you just said was offensive to me. Stop saying Andy. We don't even say it here. I do. What do you mean? I, I'm saying it right now. I say it all. What do you mean we don't say it here? I say it every stream, like a hundred times a stream. Like I told you, Zoomer. Well, that's, mm, I don't think Andy is Zoomer. That's more millennial. But like millennial versus Boomer. Like me sitting here and explaining this 
what you're seeing on the screen, this character? Well, this character, I'll tell you. At some point throughout the last hundred years or so, fire became a device that was able to be used coming out of a, a propulsion machine that has oil and a propulsion mechanism with an emulsifier in it. And what that does is that allows the fire to go forward and be able to do what you're doing, wiping out all those monsters that I see, and it's a pretty wonderful invention. Versus flamethrower Andy. I can get my point across very quickly. I'm at work. Say hi. Am I on the work TV? Man, I'll tell you. That the finance department is doing such an unbelievable job. If, if you can hear this right now, a lot of the departments that are working for this company are doing fantastic. It's a great experience I've had working with them. I have never worked with them, by the way, just for complete transparency's sake. I've never worked with anybody here. I don't know what this job is, and I don't uh, condone or support anything that, that anybody's doing unless it's proven to what that could be otherwise. So I, I, that was a joke, and I have no idea what you do, and I have no idea what's going on in this business. Centrist Andy. I don't know the, what the fuck I'm talking about. That person could have just made that up, just like I did. Verify your information, everybody, before you make any... Any, you make sure you verify info. <laughs> make sure you, I love how that turned, I love how that dumb joke just turned into, verify info. You turned it into a PSA. Yeah, I did. You should try Baldur's Gate. I've heard a lot about Baldur's Gate and I'm kind of afraid to put any time into it because I feel like it's one of those games where you need to know an entire encyclopedia before you start playing it. Is that true? Not true. I think any, because Baldur's Gate is a, is a D&D kind of, based on D&D, &D, right? All I remember was hearing about, oh, this game is like kind of built on top of D&D. &D. It's like a D&D &D game. Oh, cool. It was Neverwinter. And I remember being like, whoa, I mean, I can like play this as like a ton of like characters and classes. And I remember playing this character that just, I, 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 I was so disappointed in the game because I, I was playing it wrong. And I remember just like playing it and the character I made, the only move that the character had was they went like, they did like a whistle or like a sing. And that was it. That's the only move I did. And I was just like, this is, I don't, I'm not having any fun. I, I had like one move. I was like, why do I, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm playing this so wrong, aren't I? I think I was playing like a musical character, like a bard or something. That was Pepino. <laughs> God damn it, it was. Is it weird that sometimes I just go to YouTube and type in uh, Pepino scream and just listen to it like 10 times in a row and then go on with my day? Is that weird? WM1 Andy? Yeah. You know what else is really funny too about getting a little older? Kind of starting to feel myself grow up a lot. Back when I first played Team Fortress 2, I remember I remember being like, oh, WM1, come on, you, you could do better than that. You suck at this game. What's with this? Yo, Pyro, of course, this Pyro sucks. Now I'm just like, oh man, I like this class a lot. This flog class, I just can walk forward for a second. It's so funny, everybody talks shit about Pyro until they play Pyro and then they're quiet. Right? You ever notice that? Sit there, you get killed by a Pyro and it's like, fucking idiot. What do you fucking even know about this game? What do you even know about aiming? And then you pick Pyro and you just kind of silently play it and you're like, wow, this is a lot of fun. Shh, I'm sh quiet. I know I'm not having any fun. No, don't say that. I'm not having fun. It's so funny. I'll say that about Spy too, right? You get you get absolutely dominated by a spy that's just kicking everybody's ass in the server. And you're like, oh, what the fuck? Like, fuck you. And then you play Spy and like bump into three walls and don't hit anybody. You face stab a person and die instantly. And you're, you're zero for your team. And it's just like, oh, right. This is like kind of like, takes like a lot of skill to really kind of do this reliably. I actually just shit my pants. I feel, I feel bad for you. Because that, it sucks when that happens. Genuinely, it's really not fun. You know what's funny about what you just said, though? Imagine shitting your pants and sitting there after shitting your pants. You just did it. And typing into a chat, Hey, I just shit my pants for real. While you're just sitting there? Like, okay. Well, you, I, you should probably go take care of it first. Then talk about it. I think that that's probably a good uh, order of, of operations there. Now, it would have been even funnier if you wrote, Oh my god, I just shit my pants comma, space, what do I do? That would have added a little bit for me because that means you're just still sitting there and you're just like, I don't know what to do about this. Please stop, I'm eating. Sometimes I forget. Anytime the TV is on or anytime I'm watching any media, food is part of the picture at least 70 to 80% of the time. It's That is a food activity, sitting and watching something for me. 
So, I forget that sometimes. <laughs> if I was just sitting there. Oh my god, I, I got my delicious spread. I've got my lunch and my dinner. It's right here. And the person I was watching was just like, talking about, yeah, I get it. But then again, I'm going to talk about what I'm going to talk about. And that's it. Like, that's all I'm going to say. I can't, I'm not going to change it. Open crates! <laughs> I probably shouldn't have told you guys I was going to do that. We, I, we, we're getting all caps open crates now. I, pro I probably shouldn't have even said I was doing that. Open those crates! Hurry! Are there anything, any cryptids that you believe in strongly? Um, not necessarily. I mean, that, I, I do think there's probably stuff in the deep sea that we haven't seen that could be to the level of what you're describing. Look at the weird fucking animals that are down there. There are animals that have lights on their heads. There are some really wacky deep sea creatures. We have not really seen it all. So I'm one of those people where if it's kind of possible, then it's possible. But I'm not going to sit. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that the Loch Ness monster is, you know, 10,000 feet deep in the ocean. I know it. I don't know. Maybe possible. Do I think there's a, like a big naked guy walking around and you're in the woods behind your backyard? No, not necessarily. I don't I don't know. <laughs> like, do I think there's like a like a 15 foot hairy naked guy that's walking around just kind of hanging out in the woods. I don't think so. I could. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. If you ever do see Bigfoot, I feel like, I don't know. Would Bigfoot just run? Oh shit. Oh shit. Another person saw me. Oh, I'm naked and I'm running around. Or, or would Bigfoot be like, listen, I know this is fucked up looking and I know you know you found me. But let me tell you something. I've got a secret bank account. In that secret bank account, I've got fucking six million dollars. Don't say shit. And I will I will fucking sell you the money. I'll sell you fucking ten thousand dollars a day. I don't know. Scammer Bigfoot. <laughs> you can just listen, let me tell you something. I've got a bank account with ten million dollars in it. All you need to do is you need to send me fifty. And then I'll send you ten thousand next week. I'm never gonna play this game, don't give me any tips. So let me, I'm, I have to tell you, don't say that you're never going to do something. Trust me, I've from experience here. M saying you're never going to do something in the one small off chance that you do, that you end up doing that, you're going to think back and go, I should never have said I'm never, ever doing this. I will never trust Bigfoot. You're calling me Bigfoot. Like, oh, Jerma is Bigfoot. He's, Jerma is a cryptid. He's Bigfoot. Don't you guys make fun of how small I am all the time? What's going on there? Yeah, there's, there's a lack of consistency. Small foot. <laughs> that's not even... That's not even funny. That's not... That is so easy. Come on. You're not Bigfoot, you're... Small foot. That's easy. That's way too easy. There's no way you can be big, Bigfoot. You smell like ranch, and there's no ranch in the woods? Why can't I just... Take a bottle of ranch into the woods and drink it in the woods. Well, I don't understand the logic behind that. But there's no ranch in the woods. Why can't I just have it in my backpack while I'm walking around? Ranch dressing to me, and you're going to think I'm gross. This is the take that a lot of people determine if they like you as a person or not, which is like, relax. I think that ranch is just a... It's just, to me, I like blue cheese better. Anywhere I would be putting ranch, blue cheese is used in that scenario. Ranch to me is just not quite there, and I would prefer blue cheese to be the thing instead of ranch. This dude eats crayons, he's lying. If they're dipped in blue cheese, um... No, I don't- don't give him any more! Don't give him anything else! Don't give him anything else! That'll- I'll- that, that'll be- I'll be, that'll be on- that'll be on, like, Twitter. Jeremy eats, Jeremy eats crayons! Jeremy eats- Jeremy eats eating crayons! Jeremy eats crayons! Hey, did you hear Jeremy eats fucking crayons today? It's X now, idiot. Oh, that's right. It is. I okay. All right. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking? Okay. Well, whatever. It's, I'll see you on. I'll see you on X. Is that what it is? That it is what it is. Yeah. No one said that. Don't call it that. I do, I don't pay very much attention to Twitter. I don't even use social media. I don't know what the fuck is going on, guys. I use Twitter to like DM 
people and tell you when the stream is. DMing like other content creators and streamers and for, oh, hey, you wanna, like, uh, I'm doing this like house flipper thing. Like, I, th that's what I use Twitter for, is is for like uh, talk, talking to colleagues. Cry me a river, Smallfoot. Ban that person for life. <laughs> Do it actually. <laughs> Execute order number 666. <laughs> too many. Too many duntas. Too many duntas. Too many. <laughs> too much. <laughs> Sony's on stage doing that, and like the whole crowd's like, Too many! These are too many of these! Stop it! Boo! Stop! Too many! Too many! This dude's just got the microphone going. <laughs> He will get up and leave. Uh, nah, he's, he, he really, he really is just fucking washed up now. Yeah, like that was, all, that was awful. You hear, you hear how many times you did the Star Wars, like, interlude thing? Like, I, he fucking fell off. Do you think Bigfoot would enjoy your streams? No, Bigfoot's probably one of the people in here just like talking shit every day. <laughs> Imagine like, okay, you know, like a lot of like the boxing's like really kind of coming back. Like a lot of people are getting involved in boxing. There's like chess boxing and there's like you know creator clash and like there's a lot of like boxing events what if somebody boxed bigfoot and bigfoot just beat the ever-living fucking shit out of this person it's like oh like uh germa versus bigfoot and this, and we we find somebody that's like literally fucking eight feet tall that's like three uh, four hundred pounds jacked unbelievable in unbelievable condition and i think i can win and i just get the absolute fucking shit beat out of me like it's ridiculous it is ridiculous and it shows me before the fight, signing a bunch of documents saying, do not stop this fight. I will win. And he just like picks me up overhead and like throws me into the fucking crowd after like six straight minutes of like, like to, to my face. And then zoom in on some people in the front row that are holding stacks of money with cigars in their mouths cheering. Because it's like, oh my god, this was free money. This was so much fucking... I, I, this was so free. Why would you lose? Because that's funny. I don't even want to throw one punch. I want to taunt in the ring when the bell rings. And then it's just me being hit in the head over and over again. <laughs> I go out to the outside of the ring and I'm picking up, like, objects to hit him with. Like, this is illegal. Like, like it's over. The fight's over. I've been disqualified. I'm picking up like mic stands and trying to hit him in the fucking head with it and stuff. Like I've already, I've, I've been disqualified. This is a Yakuza sub story. <laughs> no, I I'll never truly step into the ring. I couldn't. All the medical problems I still have, no. It's a fun little thing to think about, but no. All right, let's open some crates in TF2. All right, Blue Moon, let's see. Are, are we ready? Here we go. I could get any of these. We're looking for the Robin Walkers. Why are people Omega lulling? Is this a bad one? Let's go. Oh, I got an assassin's attire. Nothing else. Oh, a free ticket. I don't want to do this anymore. I think I'm done. That was all right. Cool. Wait, let's look at it. Oh yeah, I put the gibbous on because I didn't want people to be mad that I was a bad spy player. I forgot. All right, I put this on to, to like hide because I didn't want people to. Because if you're in like full cosmetics, if you're like decked out in a bunch of crazy shit, people are like, oh, that's look at all this cool stuff the spy has. I put the gibbous on because I want people to go like, oh, that's like I don't know that he might not have been playing for very long. I like it. Cool. Okay. I freaking love gambling. I kind of just want the cosmetics, if I'm honest, because I've given my backpack away like three times over the last 10 years. So I don't really have very many like cosmetic items. I kind of want to like just get some more. I mean, I don't I don't think I can take off the parted wig. That's just not going to happen. I like it. <laughs> it's, a, it's two jackets. <laughs> one of them is just ripping through the other one. I like it. It looks like I don't know what I'm doing. It's perfect. Also, I'm not. I'm probably not going to do this again. Yeah, this is kind of just like a one and done kind of deal. I just want to get some more cosmetics. So don't expect like, oh yeah, I'm going to open like 50 cases every week. That's no. I just had a bunch of inventory and I'm just kind of clearing it out. And I was going to do it off stream, but it's like, you know what? Why don't we just 
why don't I just do it here? So this is probably not happening again. Kappa, Kappa, Kappa. <laughs> Well, um, it might happen at some, I don't know, but it's not like, an, I'm not just going to open cases. It's not a regular thing. What is that? That's cool. I like this one a lot. I'm going to, I'm going to wear this right now. It's going to replace the gibbous. <laughs> it's perfect. All right. What else? Do I have anything else? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. That's not bad. I like this because it's got the microphone. Sniper? That looks like a cool sniper hat. See, I got a red already. The sniper outfit I don't think can change. It's too good. Skibidi toilet looking motherfucker. Skibidi toilet. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right. This is winter 2018. I was told that don't do these because they're terrible. Well, it's too late. I already have four keys for it. How is that terrible? That's awesome. I have a little, like, engineer thing now. Are you serious? It's for the pyro? <laughs> By the way, imagine this motherfucker sitting in spawn AFK. This is the actual loadout. Caught red-handed. This is the loadout. This is it right here. This is my loadout. I love my pyro loadout. I think it looks great. I love the glasses. But... <laughs> That's cool, too. Alright, 2020. Give us something good. That's... That's pretty great. What, I, can I, wear, I can wear those right now, right? Can I wear these right now? Who can wear these? It's an all-class? Oh, god damn it. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. Okay. That's exactly what's going on. That's going to be so annoying to every single person that plays the game with me. It looks awful. I think it looks great. What about uh, blue, right? Ooh. Cool. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's perfect. And I can wear this all year. It's all class. <laughs> Am I going to really just be like the Christmas dickhead? I guess so. Hey, Merry Christmas all year. It's... It's really scuffed. It's one of the good ones, but it is fucking destroyed. Damn it. Is that the worst one? Is that the worst quality? Field tested. Damn it. It's a puke weapon. Yeah. What about... The Ubersaw stuff looks really good on. Shotgun, you can't go wrong either. Because so many people can use it. I mean, it is, it is a booger gun. Ooh, that looks pretty good. I don't see very much wrong with this. It is factory new. All right. It's one of the lower tiers, but that's fine. Holy shit. I'm going to be so annoying. <laughs> that's really annoying, but I think it kind of has to be there. Cardboard box? So it's just a, a cardboard item? Cardboard rocket launcher. <laughs> nice. It's the Labo. It does look like the Labo. Alright, and this is it. This is the last one. Here we go. <sighs> no unusual. Oh, well. Cool. I got a new awesome... I'm so glad that I got this. I only had to spend, um, <laughs> that's kind of like a lot for a pair of fucking shoes. You should buy 50 more. No, if, okay, if I collect some more, I have some other cases, like old crates. The old crates. But, eh. Alright, that's gonna be it. Uh, before we go, I do want to bring something up. So if you're just still hanging out. So I want to bring this up. I want to talk about this. this is really actually very, very serious. Um, so I'm not, this is not, no joking around right now. I'm talking to pretty real. Uh, those of you that remember the uh, Nevada Science Center. 
Science Center Nevada, remember Science Center Josh, remember? Well, we, we got word, we heard that Josh was in a pretty, pretty major accident. And it's very, very tragic. It's actually really, really sad and really awful. And they have a GoFundMe to try to help out. And those of you that don't know who this is, if you watch the archaeology stream where Grotto Beast was from, he was on the stream. He was a big part of that. And if the, can the mods link it? Can, can we get it, like, pinned? Yeah, it's really terrible. So if you can spare anything, there's a link. It's a really, really sad, really tragic. But it, he was a great guy, and it's a great family. And it's a, it's a really, really terrible, tragic thing to happen. He made that stream so much more fun. So hopefully, you know, we can help out a little we can. So, if you can, it's there. Yeah, we're, we're, I'm just, I've, when we heard about it, I was just devastated. This is how do you, how do you even, what do you even say when you see something like that? And you know, it's just so, but if we can help, we will. And I, I want to at least make sure that I talked about it because... I know a lot of people really found that stream to be in Grotto, like a Grotto Beast. Grotto Beast has become like a really great success. Like it's been really fun. Um, very fortunate over here to have that project be a success as much as it was. I will see you guys later. I'll see you on... Uh, Sturt's going to be hanging out for a little while, so... Probably next week I do have some stuff that I have to do for work that I need to make sure I take care of. So next week, keep an eye on the sus. Stir is going to be here.